Have you ever noticed narcissist keeps things, things that don't belong to them and they're not theirs and it's yours and you want it back. There is this phenomenon. There is this phenomenon that this happens and it's exactly this. This is what I'm going to be talking about in the video. and welcome back I hope that you're all doing really well so in today's video we're gonna be talking about why narcissists keep things they keep your belongings like they don't give them back say for example you're in a relationship and there's certain things that you've had maybe there was a, like a favorite t-shirt or a mug or there was I don't know a book that you had and you've asked it asked for it back and they're like yeah I'll send it, I'll send it, but they don't. They don't send it. Or it could be in a family setting. You know, there's something that maybe you've left behind at your family home, you've asked for it back, but they don't give it. Or, or my friends, there could have been a time where actually you didn't even know something was missing. And then suddenly you realize that they have it. So this, this is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in the video. But my friends, before I do, just to let you know that I do go live every week on this channel. Sometimes the days do, do alter, but I would say check the community tab because you'll have more information there of when I actually go live. Guys, join this wonderful live stream with a wonderful community. We have so much fun. Like healing doesn't have to be boring, my friends. Healing does not have to be boring. So do check the community tab. It's free, guys. What have you got to lose? It's free. So come on over, join the live stream. Love to see you there. So, so let's talk about why the narcissist keep things. So as we said in the beginning of the video, basically, they don't give things back. And this can be very annoying, this can be very frustrating. It could be that maybe actually you have left the relationship or they have exited the relationship and you guys are not together anymore. And perhaps maybe you've asked for your belongings back, okay? And you, you're, you're like thinking, okay, so it's the end of the relationship, like give my stuff back, like hello, I want it back. Or you may have not even noticed that your belongings are missing and this is what i'm going to be talking about why is it that they tend to keep things of yours and some of you might even think that is this a token is this a memory is this a trophy is this an object that they can remember you by and this is something that we're going to be talking about. I'm going to explore this in the video. So the narcissist does indeed keep objects, not all of them, some of them. Remember, this all depends on their personality. Remember, this is a personality disorder. It works on a spectrum. And we're talking about personality here, which is not linear. Okay, so people can do all different things because it is a personality disorder. So basically, what we are talking about here is some do, some don't. And the thing is, the way, the reason why they would do is to have a token of you, to have a memory of you. Please don't think that I'm talking about that they are sentimental or something like that. They're not. They're not. This is a token. That's what I would call it, a token. And they tend to keep these things because it's something that they can use as leverage. Similar, if they leave some of their belongings at yours, at your house, and you're thinking, well, come and collect your stuff. Come and get it. But they don't, do they? They just leave things. And I know that working with clients over the years, I have heard this on a multiple occasions where narcissists just end up leaving their belongings at their house or at or within their car or anywhere just leaving things behind and you see the reason why the narcissist does that is because it gives them leverage it gives them an excuse to be able to contact you oh you left this behind oh you've got something of mine 
So it's kind of like they leave the back door open so that whenever they decide or they want to, they can come back in. And that literally is what it is about. It's something that an object, something that is left of theirs or they keep something of yours. It is a way for them to be able to get back in contact with you. Add to the fact, all right, that this is also to do with the attachment disorder, okay? They can't detach from you. And I'm not talking about that this is love, that this is something that is, is they love you and they want you and they're gonna keep this as a memory. It's not about that. Remember, they're not able to attach or connect to things the way that me or you do. So this really is very much about being able to have an excuse to be able to contact you. Think about it, like say you've left your book and your t-shirt, okay, at their house, and you've asked for it, or maybe you haven't. But over time, maybe weeks, months, maybe even years, it gives them an excuse to be able to contact you, isn't it? It's the perfect excuse. Think about it, like you get a message out of the blue, I've got your tea, how are you? I've got your t-shirt here. You're not going to ignore them, are you? Because it's like, that's my property. I want it back. So can you see how controlling this actually is? Perhaps maybe you have asked for it back and they've ignored you or they've changed the subject, they're not talked about it. And suddenly, weeks, months, years later, they're contacting you about this same thing. Why would you do that? Literally, it's so that they can get in contact with you. They pick the time and the date of when they will contact you. And this is usually to see whether they can come back, um, maybe see where you are in all of this healing process, seeing if they can get any supply from you. This isn't about them suddenly loving you and that they've done the work and they realize the error of their ways. That's not what this is about. What they are doing is seeing if they can still get some supply of you, if you still if you still care about them. That's what this is about. Similar like if they leave something at yours and you're messaging them, you're calling them, trying to like, um, can you come and get it? And then they contact you when they are ready. It's the same thing. This is what they are doing. This is all to do with the attachment disorder where they are unable to detach from you. They can't attach to you in a healthy way, but they also can't detach from you in a healthy way. Okay, so this detachment, all right, doesn't happen. They're still watching you. They're still wanting to see how you are. They're still contacting you to see if they can get supply from you. Even if they are the ones that have walked away and they don't need you anymore, they're with new supply. This still can happen, my friends. This still does, because it's all to do with attachment. If you can't connect to yourself, how are you gonna be able to connect to another person? This all becomes superficial. This all becomes actually just surface level. There's no meaning to it, there's nothing to it. This is about them trying to get their needs met again. And it's another tool that they can use to be able to do that with you. All right, so they haven't gone and done the work then they're with someone new because that person gives them something, satisfies their needs. That is what is happening. And I know that this can be very hard. I know that this can be very heartbreaking for you, especially like if you are someone that's waiting for their return and you're still going through this healing process. Of course, it's really hard. Of course, you know, that's all you've wanted to hear from them. And, you know, they, they contact you about an item. And it's difficult because you do miss them, like it's normal, it's human nature. Of course you're going to miss them. And what I will say to you is, please know that they're not getting in contact with you because they have realized the error of their ways and that they are, you know, they've done the work. This isn't anything about that. This is about purely getting supply from you, purely getting something from you okay and this is why um they do this weeks months years later because they've been watching your progress they've been watching you move through this try to understand this and they see that maybe they still have a chance 
and they think that they can just come in and you know disturb your peace whenever they want to and this really depends on to you do you want to hear from them will you ever get that item back no even if they get in contact with you and say they've got this item does it mean that you're going to get it back you've lived this far without it sometimes it can be sedimental it really depends on to you it's your choice whether you engage in this contact with the narcissist but you have to be clever and you have to be smart you have to read between the lines because it's not about what they are saying to you it's about what's not being said so you really have to look at this and think you know what do i really need that item do i really need to engage in this communication maybe my peace of mind is more important so guys i really hope that this video helps i hope that this gives you more understanding into what is going on if you are facing this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club where I post in there every single Monday. And if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. I've also got a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. And um, if you would like to join this, it's a community of like-minded individuals and people who have gone through similar things that you have. And if you wanted to connect with others, maybe share your experiences, talk about it. Remember, this is peer support. It's not therapy. There's no therapeutic professionals in there. So if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. Guys, I really, really hope this video has helped and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.